Now let me set the image from the user. So for this, we will create a new input field. So here, above the submit button, we will create a new input field for file. So the type of that input field is file. Name will be that select image. ID will be equal to that select image. And it will accept image of any extension. And the class will be that form control provided by Bootstrap. And now let's refresh that. And now it's look good. And I will provide margin tab. So it's the margin tab will be up to. And now add an image element. And to that image element, we will provide the ID of selected image. The width of that image will be 50 pixel. So we set the width to 50 and height to 50. It will be up type square. Copy that selected image ID and that input field ID. And on input field, we will set unchanged call to that function. And the function will be read file. And to that read file, we will pass this element. So copy this function name, back to that resources.js file, create a new variable image, and the image will be initialized with an empty string. So let's create a function, and the name that function is read file, and to that read file we will pass an element. So if the element that files and that files array is not empty, Then we will set const to render and we will create the instance of file reader. So let's set that reader dot unload. And for the unload, we will set an anonymous function. Let's trigger an event. Now in the head of that index.html file, we will paste some libraries these libraries will be in the description with this video now let's set the source of that selected image element we will set that attribute source and the source will be equal to e.target that results this will provide the link to that image also we will set that image variable to that link so the image variable will be equal to eta target that result. Now below this we will set the render dot read as data URL and to this we will pass the first file. Now back to that index.html file. So I will add a peer tag here. Now back to that browser. Refresh it, select an image, and it's not showing here, it's an error, so we will fix it. Now back to that resources.js file. Here we are declaring this function inside another function, so we will move it above that function. Paste it here, and now let's try again. Reload it, select an image, and it's not showing there. So let's fix it. And here we will add a hash character as we are getting that element by ID. So let's refresh it. Select an image and the image will show at the bottom of that input field. Now we will show that image at the center of that QR code. So let's back to that code. Here copy this function and paste it here. After that, in that attractive Q1 generator, we will accept an image. So here we will get an image and the image is stored in that variable. So back to the generator.js and here we will accept an image also. And here to that image property, we will pass that image and if the image is not, we will show that Facebook image. 
So let's try to reload. So you select an image and the image is selected but it is not shown here. If you change to that other field then it's shown. So we will fix this. So dev to that resources.js file. Copy this function name. Cut it from here. And we would like to paste it there. And now it will, will work. Now let's select an image. And now it's working well. Now if we select an image, it shows the image below that input field and also in the center of that QR code. And it also shows the image for other input fields. And let's try here and it's shown here. Now you will set different configuration for that QR code. So the type we can change the type to square. It can be changed to dots. And we will only refresh it and it will change to the shape. And it will change to the dot format. Now let's change it to square. And we can change that color to any one. Also, we can change it to extra rounded. Also, for user input, now if the user input is equal to null, we will generate the QR code of this link. For a square option, we can set two properties dot or square, and for the dots option, we can set multiple properties like square, rounded, it. Let's refresh that, and we can set it to class rounded, and it will be generate the code of another type and now let's change it to now let's change it to dots and change it to square we can change the color to any of so changing this color code we change the code color of that square so we can set this to orange we can set it to gray orange, red now let's change the color of this and let's change it to blue now it look good now let's select an image and it will show the center of the HTML code and this is how we can change the color of the dots and square along with their types Now we will set QR code dot download and to the download we will pass the name of the download. The name will be QR code and the extension will be PNG. And the pop-ups for the download will appear. So this is how we can download the image. Now let's set the ground option for the QR code. And for the go to the ground option, we can go pass color and gradient. So let's set the color for first. And to that color, we will pass color code or color name, but I will not use this color. I would like to use a gradient. Gradient is of type object. And to that object, we will pass gradient type. The type will be linear. We can set it to radial and the rotation will be equal to 45. And here we will pass color stops. I would like to copy it from there. So copy it. and paste it here and the gradient background will appear I would like to change it blue to white so let's change it to white and the color black to the color red to orange now let's refresh it and it will be changed to color orange the angle is 45 you can change it to anyone but I am not interested in this. Now let I am changing dots option color to red. Now I can select an image from here. Let's select any image. And it will show in the center of that QR code. So this is about 
and so this is all about uh, generating QR code with a center image and with various designs.